Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of The Bus. You'll notice we have a brand new bus to play with. I don't quite know what's going on here. There's a bit of construction work behind me. Oh, it's that crane that's buggering about. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, we have got the brand new Manline City Double Decker. Still classed as early access, this. So, uh, yeah, the, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. But, hey, brand new bus to play with. Finally, we've got a new route. Now we've got a new bus. There we go. Look, that's a crane. I'm happy with that, you know. I mean, it's... It's, yeah, it's moving. Good. People are working. That, oh, Christ, he's off. Not hanging about, are they? Anyway, enough of the cranes. Uh, yeah, we're here down at Hertz Aline, Zuluggish Garten, and we are about to drive a Route 200 service. And uh, we're going to be using this bus. So here we go. It comes as the Berlin Standard Manline City Double Decker. Let's have a nosy upstairs. No problems with walking upstairs at all. Uh, and then can we just bomb it straight back down? Way there we go. Hell, it's... Uh, yeah, the, the guy doesn't mess about, does he? He moves fairly quickly. Uh, and uh, mm, unlike some of the buses on Bus Simulator 21, you can't walk through the seats. Uh, you, the seats are there. I don't know if you can sit down on it. I mean, there's no AI buses, is there? So you can't just hop on and hop off uh, any AI buses. I'm really, really hoping that uh, you will be able to... You know, like in Bus Sim 21, where you can just take over the bus and just go for a drive. I'm hoping you'll be able to do that on this, so like in the free play mode. Just wander up to a bus that's in service, tell the driver, hey, I'm taking this bus, and, uh, and just carry on with the route. That would be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that I've not done this video sooner. Oop, there we go, down the stairs. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's perhaps something that needs sorting you. Yeah, ah, we can, oh dear, right, we can see all the way up there. Yeah, there's there's a few uh, few issues with that, but I'm sure it, uh, it'll be finished in, uh, in, in the meantime. Right. Yeah, I would have done this. This came out on Monday, uh, and I would have done it sooner, but I was actually in Berlin. Um, we went for the Christmas markets. We booked a last-minute flight, and... Uh, oh, hang on. Are we... Start ignition with I. Oh, there we go. And start engine right. Hold I. There we go. Air conditioning, foot brake down. It's all very similar uh, in terms of... Uh, in terms of driving uh, the, the bus, all the controls are the same. From the citywide, I mean, I don't know about you, I found that I actually had to uh, had to reset the, uh, the steering, the pedals, uh, if you've got this. Oh, hang on, we're, we're on time. Right, hang on. Right, let's get the door open and get people boarded. Anyone needing tickets? No, nope. I mean, departure's at 10 o'clock, it's now 10.01. Uh, we've spent too much time chatting. Right, there we go, let's get that door shut. And, uh, and off we go. Uh, foot brake down, pass, uh, parking brake, that's the one. Uh, and off we go. So we're actually, uh, we're actually down at Hertz Ali at the moment. This is the railway line that runs over the top at Zoologische Garten. Are you just going, mate? No, I, I, I beg your pardon. And, uh, I, oh yeah, you just crash into me. Great, thanks. Um, yeah, so we're down at Hertz Ali. We're just coming round into Zoologische Garten now. And uh, I thought I'd pick a nice wintry, kind of a snowy uh, scenario for us to drive in. Getting round this corner, I've crashed into this corner so many times now, but I appear to have done it today, and that's uh, that's good. There we go, Zoologische Garten. And uh, yeah, here we are. It is weird to think that literally 24 hours ago I was stood here. Um, it's just, I mean, it's really got me back into the bus. I kind of, I hadn't fallen out with the bus, because, uh, you know, the bus is awesome. It truly is the best bus simulator uh, on the market, other than, of course, obviously, but the, the best modern bus simulator uh, on the market, which is excellent. It really is good. There we go, what time are we leaving? 10.03. Uh, we're, uh, we're back on time now. Look at that, back on time. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, here we are. Let's let's have a nosy. Whoa, what's happened there? A little bit of uh, just had to think about it there, didn't it? Should we have some lights on? There we go. I mean, it, it is. Uh, oh, I can't really get a good screenshot because this idiot's parked next to me. Why? Why are you there? You know, go. Nope, no idea. Right, let's get those doors shut. And uh, and we'll just indicate out, seeing as he's uh, he's clearly clearly not bothered, is he? Right, off we go. And if we're lucky, if we're fairly quick, we might actually, there we go, get out on the green lights. Look at that. 
Oh, it's having a bit of bit of a lag, isn't it? Oh, are you? Hang on. It's my green light. I, I think the early access uh, might have a few bugs here. <laughs> just, just a couple. Uh, yeah, traffic going through red lights. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? But here we are, and uh, there was an absolute... I mean, I, if you get chance, you know, I mean, we booked a cheap flight. We went with Ryanair. Uh, we came back with EasyJet. And, uh, and we actually stayed in a Premier Inn just down this road here. Uh, but if you get chance and you've got some time off and around the Christmas markets, absolutely go to Berlin. It is the most magical city. I mean, we went with one of our friends who uh, who isn't really big on Christmas. And, uh, we went to some Christmas markets just on the right here. Uh, obviously, the, the markets don't appear to have been implemented. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Bright shite plats. Uh, the markets aren't here, of course, but uh, or not on the bus or not. They are in real life. But for someone who doesn't like Christmas, absolutely magical. Oh, hang on, who's ringing? Is that, the, is that me that's ringing? Should we activate the back doors? Is, is someone else getting off? It does not appear so. Because on this, instead of opening your back doors, you, you have to toggle the clearance and then the passengers press the buttons. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, we're still a little bit early. Oh, there we go. Right, we'll get those doors shut. Yeah, truly, truly magical city. Uh, and uh, and like I say, you can get some flights for really, really cheap if you, you know, if you shop correctly, of course. And uh, we don't actually drive past the hotel that we were staying at. We were down at the Premier Inn down here, like I say, and uh, and uh, you have to go on the 100 for that. I mean, the 100 is allegedly coming to the bus, uh, I do believe, from the uh, from the old early access road map. Oh, are you not letting me out? It's not very nice, is it? I mean, it has to be said, this bus does sound a little bit dodgy in comparison to the real thing. But again, it's early access, so I'm sure that all of that will be rectified. I believe we got left here. So we're just going to uh, we're just going to pull across into this lane while we can. Oh. Shall we stop on the red light? I mean, there's no rushes, that to be honest with you. We seem to be just plodding along and, and making good time. So we'll just take it nice and steady. And see, so yeah, our hotel was just straight down. The 100 goes down there. We turn off to uh, to the left, and we rejoin that around. Uh, where did we rejoin it? I think it's at Brandenburg. There we go. Are these pe are these meant to be people's phones ringing? Because I mean, it's that's the sort of thing. It's almost as bad as just trains. Is uh, Voyager, isn't it? Do you remember when they brought that out? And don't get me wrong, I like just trains is Voyager, but oh my lord, that phone that continually rung. I don't know if you can actually see. Uh, they probably won't have included it, but just down there's where we stayed. Just a short walk. Uh, of course, you've got all the transport. You've got the U-bahns, you've got the S-bahns, the buses. If you're interested in buses, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably are. But, oh, you've got to go here. Absolutely have to go here. It's truly wonderful. And uh, weirdly enough, we didn't get a ride on the 200. We wanted to, but we went with a couple of friends and we just didn't get a chance. Um, I mean, when our friends got there, uh, we, we literally tried and tried and tried to get on a Manline City double-decker. Um, there wasn't a lot out. I mean, when I first started going to Berlin, they were all, like, the 100 and 200s were like the big tourist lines. And uh, they were all Manline City double-deckers, but you literally could not move for uh, bendy Citaros this time. It was all Citaro C2 uh, bendy buses, which was a little bit like... I mean, they were really warm, because in, in Berlin it was so cold. So, so cold. Um, you know, it's a very dry cold. Over here in England, we have a very wet cold, don't we, with us being an island, but very, very dry, bitter cold. Um, the Citaro heating was absolutely sensational. Absolutely sensational. So, you know, bittersweet, bittersweet. Would have liked to have, uh, would have liked to have got on my way. Hang on, you have to be holding the steering wheel here for false feedback. Flipping egg. There we go. Just uh, pull straight in. And uh, we'll, we'll open those rear doors, get that front door open as well. I wonder, do these want to buy tickets? Nope, nobody's buying tickets. 
There we go. Right, let's get indicating out. Are we? Uh, are we going? I've not. Uh, I've not turned off the rear door clearance. Right there we go. I am really looking forward to them adding uh, other buses on this game. I don't know when that's coming, because obviously there's no AI buses, um, but I am really, really looking forward to it. I think that double yellow, yeah, that means someone wants to get off at the next stop. We can just about manage that, I think, can't we? I don't know why all these people are uh, stopped here. Oh, hang on, this is our bus stop, isn't it? Flipping it. Nearly drove straight past. There we go. F8. Little bit far from the curb, but I'm hoping our passengers will understand. There we go, get shutting them doors. I don't know why the bus sounds like that drilling noise. Oh yeah, it's the same noise, isn't it? I'm, uh, I'm also hoping that they have the cyclists, because Berlin is, um, I mean, look at the cycle lane there. There is a lot of cyclists in Berlin. Why has he got his hazards on? Oh no, it's not. It's his brake lights. Okay. We'll let him off. Uh, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of cyclists in uh, in Berlin. Because there's so many cycleways, it's so easy to cycle round. Um, I'm hoping they add cyclists in as like an extra little hazard. Because you really do have to look out for them uh, when you're driving here. Don't know where all this traffic's come from. It it wasn't that bad. I mean, a couple of times at like 5 p.m. we got snarled up in traffic on uh, on the Route 100, uh, but other than that, traffic wasn't really that bad. I guess these are meant to be people's phones in the background, aren't they? I, it, I guess it's good in the sense of that it's not the same jingle every time. We'll just stop here. We'll stop here because we don't want to block the junction, do we? Because we're a good little bus driver, aren't we? Go on then, I know you're going out anyway, so you may as well. Oh, we've got some uh, some Flixbus, uh, Fernbus, uh, Manline Cities there on the right, Manline's coaches even. Adenauer Stiftung. Great name for a bus stop. Nordische Botschaften. Adenauer Stiftung. Stiftung. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, what a name. Go on, keep going. I mean, I could have actually gone past all of these, couldn't I? But I didn't really want to. Oh, we will do. We'll go down here. Because this guy's going right, isn't he? No. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he is. Right, okay. There we go. Lovely. Right, we'll just fly down here. And, uh, hang on. People are getting off. There we go. The front door's open as well. It's a shame there doesn't appear to be a key binding for that. We were having a look for the rear door clearance. I'm sure you can probably set it up, but, uh, yeah, it just seems, uh, there we go, doors are shutting at the back. Uh, we'll to untoggle that. We're running a bit of flipping it. We are running a bit late. Three minutes late. My lord. There we go. Nobody's coming. Somebody's coming. They'll probably just smack into us anyway, won't they? Regardless. We're just going to have to go for it, aren't we? Absolutely go for it. running a little bit late now, aren't we? Flipping heck. And we're speeding. I mean, I'm just keeping up with the guy in front, to be fair. So it is, it's good that they, they simulate cars in front speeding, because, of course, not everybody drives at the speed limit. It's uh, it's no secret that not everybody drives at the speed limit. Um, so it's nice that on the game it's, it's kind of added that flexibility. Right, hang on. We're not going in there. That's not the bus stop just down here on the right hand side. Try and get a nice smooth stop. 
There we go. Right. Hang on. There we go. I'm hoping that they'll actually simulate the other liveries as well, because if you look, we are in the uh, the BBG livery. Uh, we've got the yellow with the grey skirt and the white roof. A lot of them now are just actually plain yellow. Um, so I am really hoping uh, that... Let, let's wait for this woman to get out of the way. I know we're a bit late, but you're never too late for a screenshot, are you? There we go, right, get that rear door, F8. Flipping heck, look at this traffic! We're coming out in front of this white van. There we go. We didn't hit him, so it's fine. Yeah, a lot of them are just plain yellow, so I'm hoping that they will have different variations, because I think the city wides are just plain yellow out there that we've already got. Um, so yeah, it would be nice if you could have the different liveries, because at the moment you can only pick the different types of bus, can't you? Um, so, yeah, we need like a, an OMSI style menu. What have I hit? I think you'll find, sir, that you drove into me there. You know. You could see I was indicating out, and I mean, I, I was coming out whether you liked it or not there. Let's just get so we can see lights. There we go. I'm also hoping that with the snow, the uh, the driving physics will be affected. Oh no! Where's the ample man? Why is there no ample man in the in the traffic lights? So the ample man is. Uh, you'll have to Google ample man, but uh, he's the little traffic light man of Berlin. Um, it's really, really disappointing if they've not put him on. I know some of them have been replaced with just a normal guy, but uh, there's like this big thing, there's whole shops dedicated to the Ample Man. They sell all Ample Man products. It's a really big thing in Berlin, so I'm hoping that they will actually have some of them with Ample Man on. There we go. Uh, also hoping that the snow will affect the driving physics eventually. Now it, it doesn't really seem to be bothering, does it? You know, we're just driving fairly normally. Got very good grip in the snow. In OMSI, you'd be sliding about all over the place. There we go. Right. Front door open and rear doors as well. Because, of course, you can get on at the rear doors. As well as off. It's very much kind of like a tram. Uh, you, a, lot of the, um, a lot of the bus drivers don't check your ticket on the way on. Uh, in fact, we didn't have our ticket checked once on the, uh, on the bus. Only on the S-Bahn once. It was brilliant, but yeah, day ticket, ABC. Uh, we had one of those every day, 10 euros for a 24 hour, uh, for a 24 hour ticket, which I think is quite good really, considering you can use, you can go so far on your ticket, you can use buses, trains, trams, all the works. It doesn't have to be uh, DB either, you can use the ODEG services, so long as they're in the ABC zones. Um, but yeah, you, you literally never have your ticket checked, it's done on trust. Um, I mean, the penalties, are you just waiting there? Nope, you're going to drive into me. That's nice. Very nice. And I'm sure we're going to get driven into again here. Though maybe not. Let's go straight down the bus lane here. Ooh, Potsdamer Platz. We love it here. I mean, to be fair, I say we love it here like it's specific to Potsdamer Platz. We just genuinely love the city. Such a nice city. It really, really is. I'm hoping that there'll be a way that you can, uh, eventually, that you'll be able to turn these kind of no-entry signs off. You know, it's... Uh, I mean, there's a road down there that's built... Oh, look, there we go, Potsdamer Platz. Uh, that you know, it's built down there, but it would be nice. I'm hoping that'll end when the uh, when the early access ends. Oh yeah, you just drive straight into the side of me, mate. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. You just do what you want. Yeah, there's a couple of little bugs still with this, but uh, but overall, uh, it's it's not enough to make me say it's a bad game. It's an absolutely flipping brilliant game. They picked such a good city for it to be based in. Uh, we've also what have I hit now? Oh, that would be a sign. Whoops. Well, I mean, I was in the bus lane. They shouldn't be putting signs up in the bus lane. Hang on. Hang, hang on a cotton-picking second here. We are on the road. So if that is... Uh, 
There we go. We, we didn't seem to hit the hit that, did we? No. Right. Okay. God knows. God knows with it. Oh, hang on. Someone wants to buy a ticket. Flipping heck. So you want an AB single ticket, my love? The prices are actually right as well. It's quite amusing. Oh, hang on. Not F9. It's F8, isn't it? For doors. There we go. F8. They've also got a load of um, of new Solaris Urbino buses here. They're all electric, uh, which I didn't know they got. I knew they had a demonstrator a few years ago. But, uh, yeah, they've got a load of brand new electric buses. And, my God, they can shift. They can absolutely shift. One of our bus drivers at one point was racing one of the tram drivers. And the Solaris Urbino 12 absolutely left this tram for dead. It was so fast off the mark. I mean, I don't know if maybe being so fast it means it'll run out of battery in the space of about 10 minutes. But, uh, you know, so, so fast. And I, it actually made a nice noise as well, because I think a lot of people are a bit worried about electric buses, aren't they? Like, oh, they're not going to sound as good. And well, I say a lot of people, a lot of bus enthusiasts. Uh, but no, no, I thought they were really good. If they make a good noise, it's only like an electric multiple unit. Like, people like 350s, don't they? Because they make a good noise. Hang on, this, uh, this chap. Oh, he's letting me out. That's very kind of him. He's probably just going to crash into the side of me, or the back of me again. There we go. I'm hoping that eventually for Tramsim, I mean, uh, that there's still a lot of work to do on Tramsim Munich, but I am hoping that eventually with uh, with Tramsim they are going to uh, do Tramsim Berlin with the Flexity, or, uh, I mean, they've even got the model, haven't they, because the GT64, or the GT6N, the tram that they use in Tramsim Munich, does actually run in Berlin, so they could do Tramsim Berlin. I'm really hoping they do, like, the, the M5, maybe, that goes past Outbound off the M4. I needed to, yeah, whoops. Too busy talking about trams. Didn't look that I was meant to turn left there. Right. I hope nobody's behind me. Someone's behind me. Whoops. Just just keep reversing, sir, please. Yes, just, oh, hang on. He appears to have been sandwiched between me and a lamppost. Flipping heck. There we go. Just uh, the rear steer is really coming in to help here. Hang on. Stop. Back a bit more. Thank God for rear steer. I'm glad this van man does understand, but he's just carrying on, isn't he? He's carrying on his business. Uh, we appear to be. Yeah, can't see where I'm going. Too busy talking about tram sim. You see, it's uh, it's just. Why aren't we looking down anymore? There we go. Too busy talking about Tramsim and hoping for Tramsim, and uh, I thought we were going straight down towards Alexanderplatz, but clearly we weren't. I mean, everybody's just been thrown through the windscreen, haven't they? No wonder people want to get off. To be fair, I'd want to get off if I were on this bus. There we go. We go right out. We come. No, I'm. I'm assuming you're not going to let me out, are you? They're also adding more AI traffic, more variants uh, to the AI traffic. You, you don't so much notice it, do you? But just every now and then, a couple more cars that you've not seen before, or a couple more colours like this. This what is clearly a Skoda in front, but uh, is it? A, yeah, it's clearly a Skoda, isn't it? But this kind of military khaki green. I mean, it's a ghastly colour, isn't it, really? Um, but yeah, like, things like that that you've just not noticed before. There we go. We'll be good. We'll stay in this lane. We've had enough accidents for one video, haven't we? Yeah, 
the, the sounds do need a bit of work, don't they? Listening to it, it does kind of sound... It sounds like they've used the sounds from somewhere else, like from a construction site, a building site. Um, the physics are pretty good, though. I mean, the, the actual driving physics, I think they could do with a little bit of work. It's a bit, it's a bit firm bussy, but, I mean, it's no surprise, given it's made by the same people. But, yeah, they, they, it does just bob up and down a little bit. The brakes are a bit spongy. But uh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's nothing that can't be fixed. But overall, to say it's a free update as well, this is what I don't think a lot of people realise. The, the bus is early access. This is all what is coming with the base game. I mean, the next bus that they're going to make is the VDL Citea. I say that. I mean, they said the Lion City bus coming and the VDL Citea. I, I've not read about any others. So I can only imagine that the Citea is going to come along. There's nothing to say that there can't be a Solaris or Bino, uh, that there can't be a Citaro. Um, you know, that might be DLC later date. DLC later date. DLC at a later date. I mean, Citaros and Solaris Abinos, they're in use all over the place, aren't they? What's to say that there can't be added DLC? You know, different maps for the bus. Polish maps. Ooh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Could you imagine if they had a, a Project Chechin or Project Stettin that we had for Omzi? That was such a popular map. That'd be great if they brought that to uh, to the bus, wouldn't it? With Solaris Urbino's man-lined cities. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you're, uh, it's your right away, isn't it, passengers? Passengers? Pedestrians. There we go. Straight away. Foot down. It's like a flipping call centre on this bus. The amount of people's phones that are going off. There we go, we'll just go right up to the stop. Four minutes late. Not for one to try in. Come on. Coming across, Mr. Car. There we go. Because we are actually going to. Whoa! We are actually going to turn left here rather than uh, rather than just go straight on and smash ourselves into uh, smash ourselves into smithereens. Oh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. I like, uh... Wait, there we go. I'm going to say I like the orange van in front. That's, uh, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm not... Oh, hang on. You're, you've not left me a lot of room to manoeuvre, have you? Whoa, there we go. I'm not having another accident. We've had too many. Now, if I'm not too mistaken, Unter den Linden, uh, this is a stop on the U5, isn't it? And of course, that's another one. When we were uh, when we were in Berlin, we got to travel on the new U5. I don't know how much uh, how much you've been paying attention to that. Whether you do follow the U-Bahn, but the U5 used to run from Hono to Alexanderplatz. Uh, which, if you're not too sure, Alexanderplatz is kind of like the city centre for the east when it was East and West Berlin. Uh, that's where the huge TV tower is uh, in uh, in Berlin, and uh, so it used to terminate there at Alexanderplatz. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look in those old mirrors. In the mirrors. Way straight round. Yeah, you see, it's still got it down as construction. Uh, but here, they were actually extending the U Bank. So it was the U55, which ran from Hauptbahnhof, the uh, the central station, to um, Brandenburger Tor, which is basically the Brandenburg Gate, which is just behind us at the top of this road. And uh, anyway, down here they were putting extra U-Bahn in, so the U-55 would eventually become the U-5. And we've managed to get on the new uh, the new section of track that's been opened. And it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The stations, they've done such a good job with it. It's typically German. In the, it, they're so bright, they're so spacious, they're so nice, clean and modern. They, they really are so good. It, it, puts, it puts the UK to shame, it really does. Um, but yeah, they built it down here and you could actually get a U-Bahn train all the way through now from Hauptbahnhof. 
Why can't I get the... Uh, have I not taken the brake off? Nope, there we go. Still giving clearance to those pesky doors. Takes a bit of getting used to when uh, on the citywide you can just whiz them in and out. Whiz them open and shut as often as you like. There we go, let's just have a... Let's have a bit of a bit of a shot there. Oh, pesky cars. There we go. Oh, you can see the uh, you can see the TV tower just ahead of us. Oh, I think we've committed there. There we go. Right, F8 to open that door. Get you open. I need to try and put that on a button, do I, really? There we go, we'll deactivate them. Oh, hang on. Oh dear, we've trapped a woman in the doors. Sorry, dear. I have to wait for the kneeling. I don't know if they kneel automatically. They, they didn't seem to when we were there, but, but this particular version does. Marian Kirche ahead, which is uh, is the church, and of course the TV tower on the right hand side. Oh, hang on, way we're stopping here. Whoa, too busy looking at that church. You're getting too distracted, Joe. Easily, easily distracted. I mean, some of these will get on at the back anyway, won't they? Why aren't you getting on at the back? The people of Berlin get on at the back. I love it. Is there more cranes? Oh yeah, they're building the U-Bahn, aren't they? Of course there's more cranes. So the U-Bahn actually goes under, under and that way. It's a shame when you set it to winter, they don't kind of... I'm hoping that there will be... Because, I mean, there's a Christmas mode on tram sim, isn't there? I'm hoping that there'll be, uh, like, a Christmas mode on this, where the markets will be there, because it really will... The ambience will just be brilliant. We've actually got uh, proof that Santa is real as well here from Alexander Platz, because uh, they actually have him on a wire, and periodically... It'll, it'll appear. It's, it's just literally like Santa on a zip wire, but in a sleigh. And uh, it'll just be all lit up and it'll fly across the market and uh, it'll s pause in the middle and wave to everybody. It's, it's just so over the top, but brilliant at the same time. And, uh, and this is why I'm hoping trams in Berlin happens, because this is where, uh, where your metro trams happen. AI trams should be a thing. Uh, that is in the early access that they are going to be a thing. Oh, bit of lag there. Uh, but yeah, AI trams running down there, that's going to be brilliant. Uh, we do need trams in Berlin. I will be up and down and up and down, particularly if they gave us one of those Flexities or a Tatra. Oh, oh, steady on. Now let's not be talking dirty and mentioning Tatra trams, thank you very much. Oh, hang on. They have put the ample man in, there he is. Let's get them doors open so we can have a look. So that is the ample man, and then the uh, the guy with his arms out like that. Fantastic. So yeah, that I thought that they'd just not put him in, but it turns out they have green light. It turns out that one that we saw earlier must just have been an uh, an ample man that's been removed. It's a shame they are removing some of them. I don't know why. I guess when they break, they're just replacing them with you know just just new standard ones, which is a real shame because we like ample man. We have an Ample Man mug at our house, and, uh, and an Ample Man cook glass. There we go, five euros, one euro twenty change. There we go, and, uh, and a single ABC ticket. There we go, sir, thank you. Oh my lord, they're all at it. Two euro change, and an AB single ticket, thank you. Make sure you validate it on the machine. Oh, single ABC. There you go, love. Thank you. Flipping it. We're a lot buying tickets there, weren't there? And 
There we go. Right. Full steam ahead. So we're getting into Alexanderplatz now. I think that's our next stop, or is it Marienkirche? No, we've been past Marienkirche. Uh, you've got the, the entrance to the TV tower just on the right-hand side there. That's uh, You can actually hire a bike from down there. It's brilliant. The, uh, the Fat Tire Bike Tour of Berlin. S und Fantastic. I can't wait to go back here, you know. Every year we'd try and go for the Christmas markets. Obviously in 2020 it kind of spoilt a bit, spoilt it a bit. And even this year there's uh, there's a lot less Christmas markets on, we noticed. Uh, there were still the big ones at Alexanderplatz. Uh, but yeah, there were a lot a, a lot less than what there normally would be. And it is a real shame. Uh, but yeah, here at S and U Alexanderplatz is where we are actually going to finish today. Because we've done the Route 200 before. We'll probably come back to the Route 200 and do it in its entirety, but I just thought I'd give you a nice half-hour video or so to uh, to showcase this fantastic new edition of the Man Lion City to, uh, to the bus. What did you think to this, then? Do you like this? Have you already got the bus? If so, what do you think to it? And uh, has it convinced you to buy the bus now? We've got a few extra, uh, extra vehicles available. Like I say, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have enjoyed today's video, click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, because we're definitely coming back to this. Uh, so uh, And many other bus simulators as well. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.